At Hazelwood in Victoria's La Trobe Valley, it's out with the old and in with the new. A 150 megawatt battery built in the shadow of a coal-fired power station. The commissioning of this battery represents a key milestone in this journey and marks an important step in the transition of the Latrobe Valley from a thermal energy power to a clean energy power provider. Charged by the rooftop solar systems on 30,000 Victorian homes, the battery, which covers an area equivalent to three football fields, will store about an hour of energy. The power station it's replacing generated more than 10 times that much, but it's being lauded as a first step. We can comfortably at least double the size of the battery um, and we can do that relatively quickly. It's privately funded with no government money involved. But Victoria's Energy Minister says it's part of a long-term plan to improve reliability of the state grid and eventually reduce power prices. It is important that we don't just sit around waiting for old technology to disappear, close down, but we actually get in front of it and make sure that we have more than sufficient supply to meet our needs. That's what keeps downward pressure on prices. This battery is a huge milestone for the Latrobe Valley's transition away from coal-fired power generation. 120 people helped build the battery, but locals are waiting to see if battery storage will provide enough long-term jobs for the region. I think there will be a lot of jobs during construction, but how many jobs are of long term, which we really need to, um, for the transition to happen properly. It's the first battery to be installed on an old power station site in Australia, and it likely won't be the last. Beck Simmons, ABC News, Hazelwood.